God bless my brothers and sisters. God bless, God bless. God is so good. God is so awesome. I'm just so in love with God. Every day, the more I get closer to God every day, I just fall deeper and deeper in love with him. And I just want to live my life for him. Not just by my mouth, but the way I live, the way I present him and having Jesus you know, in me and being transformed into his image. God is so amazing. He deserves our glory. He deserves all our praises. He is worthy. So every day we'll, we will exalt his name, not just by our mouths, but how we live for him. That way we can be distinguished. We can be separated. And we know that we are Christians because we just don't talk about it. We live by it. So the verse I'm going to read for today it's First Peter, chapter five, verse eight through nine. Eight through nine. Be alert, be alert, and sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith. Guys, we need to be alert brothers and sisters, alert, being on the lookout for the enemy because he's out looking for us. He's out in the field, the lion's out in the field, and he's looking for someone to devour. He's after Christians. He's attacking Christians, the churches, the unbelievers he already had, but this is for a Christian. He is out looking for someone to devour and we have to be on the lookout for him we have to be on the lookout for that lion in the field we always have to be it's right next it could be right next to us and we don't even know that the enemy is using that person or that thing to to hinder us from growing in christ so we always have to be on the lookout because he is roaring he is looking he said who can i devour who can i hinder because this person is getting closer to God. He is um has developed a prayer life. I need to destroy his prayer closet. I need to destroy his faith. So he's going to go ahead and do whatever he can to destroy your relationship with the Father and also make you backslide and stop going to church, stop praying, stop reading the Bible. He's going to do all of that. He will come up with a plan. Him and his cohorts, little demons, will come, Satan and his demons will come up with a plan. How can they destroy you? How can they distract you? How can they hinder your relationship with God? If we don't stand firm in the faith and we don't resist him, we are going to fail. And we are going to backslide deeper and deeper into the world. And the enemy is going to get those chains and bound us. And he is going to hold us as prisoners. But we have to be alert. We have to be on the lookout at all times. Me personally... There are times when I know the enemy has used somebody to attack me or just to distract me from praying, from reading the Bible. And I have to be like, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. He's like, you have to let this person go. And I had to be, I was honest with the person. I had to say, hey, you know, I'm seeking God. I can't, I can't, you know, you need to see God. And I was obedient to God. But if that if I allow that person to continue in my life, I know that the enemy would have used that person to distract me, to fall into temptation, and then I would have been guilty. I would have felt guilty, and then I would have backslided, and I would have um, just not want to go to church anymore. But we have to be wise and always be sober-minded and be alert. And we can stand in the fur. We can resist the enemy. We have that power to resist him. So we cannot give him the joy. We cannot give him the satisfaction that he has won. No, no, no. We are warriors. We don't always have to put the armor of God. We always have to fight. We have to fight as well. God, yes, God, fight our battles, but we have to fight too. God has left us uh, uh, weapons. Jesus said before, Jesus left us with weapons. He, he, we have the armor of God. We have the word of God. 
Our weapons here are not from the world. They're not carnal. So put on the full armor of God, resist the enemy, and be on the lookout and be alert. My prayer is that you continue to, to put on the full armor of God, be on the lookout for the enemy. If he has trapped you and you feel bounded, you can overcome that. You can be set free from that. Continue, continue to seek God and he will set you free. He will set you free. Amen.